What is going on guys? Jay Rico here. Hope you guys are having a great day as of today. As you guys can see from today's topic of the video guys, we're going to be discussing she is not yours. It's only just your turn. I've seen this quote so many times on these red pill video guys. So many times on these red pill videos. And I feel like this is 100% the truth. This is 100% facts. Now for the blue people, uh, blue pill people out there guys, you guys are not going to understand this whole logic. She is not yours, it's only your turn. When most of you guys, or when most of these blue pill guys think that you and whatever women you are actually with during that period of time that she's gonna stick with you forever, or that she's gonna stick with you through thick and thin. Guys, you guys gotta know the actual exact truth and whenever I do say that I'm red-pilled, that I'm actually open or I, that I actually am aware of knowing the actual real truth of in regards to everything, not necessarily as far as women, but as far as everything else out here that's going on in, in the world. But of course, this topic is in regards to women itself here. So I'm aware in regards to female nature. And to let you guys know is that, of course, women are hypergamous. They always are always, and it's in their DNA that they are going to want to date up. They are always going to want to date up. Why do you think half of these guys that are millionaires, billionaires, they literally leave these actual guys that have so tons, so much tons of money and then you thinking that you making more money is gonna make her stay. Guys, that's not the case itself here for you. When she gets tired or whenever she just gets bored of you, yeah, you're gonna see that. You're definitely gonna see a difference in her sooner or later, guys. Sooner or later, you're gonna see a difference in her. Sooner or later, you're gonna see as far as her whole mood change, you're gonna see sooner or later as far as her whole actual energy change itself here for you. And then, hey, when the time does come, guys, I'm not saying either she may leave you or if you guys do leave her or so, but hey, it is gonna come. She is not yours, it's only your turn. I had to learn this the hard way with my previous exes or so, and I feel like this is 100% the truth. This is the actual truth itself here. Women go for what they want during that period of time. Yeah, they may like you, they may say that they love you, they may say that they care about you 24 seven, but why do they even leave you in the first place? Why do they even tell you that they want to break up in the first place? Why do they even want to tell you that they actually, hey, that they want to take a little break or be friends for the time being to tell you to see where things lead on? Guys, at that point, more than likely that particular woman or these women are already talking to somebody else or they already have somebody in, in, somebody that's actually in mind here for them. They already are thinking about that one particular guy that they have in mind. And they're going to go with that guy. They're going to go with that guy. And then there's some women that are brutally going to be honest with you. They're going to be like, hey, I've been talking to this one guy. Like my ex did to me. My ex Loki, Loki did to me. Talking about, like, hey, there's this one guy that's been like literally trying to talk to me ever since. Um, when I was in my last relationship and then when I was single and now that I'm actually dating you or so. She was low key telling me that, hey, we're, whenever we're not gonna work out, guess who's gonna be the first guy to literally gonna like literally gonna gonna want to talk to afterwards? We actually break up that one particular guy that's actually at work. Yes, I used to actually have coworkers back then that I used to mess around with or so. But guys, I feel like. It's okay if you guys just want to mess around and have fun, but as far as having an actual relationship, guys, I feel like that that wouldn't work out for me, honestly, itself here for you or so, because it actually doesn't include a lot of drama, a lot of actual stuff in regards to this year or so, because guys, regardless what what these women tell you that they either see you as a friend or so, is that more than likely 99.9% .9 of these guys, if you gave them that slightest chance to literally take you out on a date, he is going to want to take you out on a date. And that's the reason why I would say whenever it comes to working or so, guys, 
yeah, he may he may call you a friend, but more than likely, guy, more than likely, he is gonna want to hit that. And I'm referring to the women out here. I'm referring to the actual women itself here. But of course, let's get back into the actual topic. Is that these particular women are hypergamous? They are always gonna want to date up. It's in their DNA. Just for the simple fact is that if you guys don't have your stuff going on together, if you guys don't have this going on together then hey, more than likely, sooner or later, she is gonna leave you. And regardless if you may have all the stuff going on together here for your life, yeah, you may have your own place, yeah, yeah, you may have your own job or whatever. If you're giving her everything all at once, guys, she is gonna get tired of that sooner or later, guys. You're giving her all the validation away. That This is one of the mistakes that I actually have made previously before that I don't want you guys making. Women are hypergamous. That's the reason why I don't validate these women. Of course, now there are some particular women that I say, I tell them, hey, I do find you attractive. Hey, I do find you cute. But at the end of the day, I don't ask them, I, I don't ask these women out on dates half the time. If there's a particular woman that I actually do like, like hey, I'll probably tell them, hey, we should hang out. Let's, drink, let's grab drinks, let's do, this, let's do this or let's do that. But all the other half of the time, guys, if I know that the woman actually does want me, and I know that I find her attractive, then A, we're gonna cut the BS. A, I'm gonna send you my address, you're gonna come over, we're gonna have a good time, easy as that. Or A, if, if we're gonna either do this or we're gonna do that, A, you know, we could actually always hang out so, so, sooner or later. So it actually is always gonna happen. Guys, as long as you guys are actually putting in the actual work with these women, then you guys are gonna be A-OK, -okay. but keep in mind is that she's not gonna be yours forever. You guys are not gonna be living in a happily ever after movie or so forever where you guys are gonna be happy together. No, that's not gonna happen, guys. Women are emotional. Yeah, they may like you, they may love you right now for the time being, but when that one time comes, guys, trust me, she's already gonna think about it a few months before, a month or a few months before, before she actually breaks up with you. She's gonna be like, I have this guy, I have this guy, I have this guy that's been hitting me up or so. And these guys are pretty attractive. So, you know, once I'm actually done dating him, I'm gonna go to these guys, see what they could actually offer me. Just like that, guys. Just like that. She's not yours, it's only your turn. Once you guys are able to literally truly understand that women are hypergamous, is that these particular women itself here, yes. You guys may have something going on right now for the time being, but just keep that in the back of your head because when that moment does come it's not going to hurt you as much i'm just saying it's not going to hurt you as much and i'm speaking on facts guys this is on facts this is what actually has happened to me before it's all here for you now of course as long as you guys are creating your purpose as long as you guys are doing what you guys need to be doing 24 7 then eight the more props to you guys i salute that Guys, I am not the type of actual person for me to actually talk smack, talk this, talk that, guys. Hey, if I see another guy that's grinding out there, doing what he actually has to do, then hey, my respect. Do what you gotta do. I respect that. Easy as that here for you. But I wanna let you guys know that these women are hypergamous. Is that they're not gonna be always yours. At the end of the day, whenever the time does come, more than likely, guys, she is going to get tired and she is going to either want to leave you or or literally just move on to the bigger and better deal. I always say the BBD. Not, not what you guys are thinking of that. No, <laughs> but the BBD, the bigger, better deal. Guys, there's always one particular guy that that woman is always going to lust for. I've seen it before. There is always going to be that one woman well, there's always going to be that one guy that these women do lust for, regardless of what actual type of guy it actually is. But these women are going to lust for that particular guy. More than likely, they probably might go with that one particular guy itself here. Or they may go for that one guy that literally doesn't even, doesn't even give them a time of day. Or literally just disrespect them. Or literally just doesn't even message them. Or like literally just message them whenever they want something or so. Easy as that, guys. Just like that here for you guys. So I hope you guys actually did like my video as of today. I will definitely would appreciate if you guys did hit the like down below. And of course, guys, if you guys have any questions, any comments in the comment section down below as well here for you guys. And guys, guys, stay red pill, my guys. As long as you guys are actually do have this on the back of your head, then you guys are gonna be good to go. 
And hey, also make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content like this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.